Okay, now that we're in the kitchen, we're gonna get the dishes ready and the food for the birds. So they're located in this cupboard here. So I'm gonna open both doors up here. And for the night cage, I'm gonna get these two smaller dishes that slide into their cage on the side. And then we're also gonna grab two of these, you know, ones that just hook on the wires um, as well. So we're gonna have one dish for each bird and one dish for food and one dish for water. So I'll get the food ready first. So in the evening, they're just gonna probably eat one scoop of the seed, so I'll get that ready, because they're also probably gonna sleep. So it's gonna be one big scoop, and I'll put it in each dish. So I'll do that one, and then I'll get one of these for the other bird, and again, one scoop in there. I'm gonna show you how to transfer the birds from their day cage into their night cage. So I have their food ready already, and I'm going to transfer that into their night cage. So again, I have one for each bird filled with food and water. I'm also gonna slide these little ones Take the plastic out and slide the plastic back in after I add the little bowls. I'm also going to utilize this little watering plant uh, pitcher to actually fill my water bowls so I don't spill it anywhere else. Also notice that I placed each of the bowls next to their perch so that they are easily, um, easily obtained by the birds. Now I can go ahead and actually transfer the birds from their day cage. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm also gonna make sure that the ceiling fans are off to make sure that we don't have any casualties. I can come over here and open the cage up. And now I'm going to hold out my fingers and ask them to step up. All right, Phil, let's step up. Good boy. Good boy. And we're going to step right into our cage. All right, Marilyn, step up. Step up. That's a good girl. No. Good girl. Good girl. And I can go ahead and close this cage up, make sure it's secure, and then I'm going to cover them for the night time. So you'll make sure it's covered completely in the back, and you'll bring the blanket around so they have a little peek hole out. This is so that they don't get startled at night and hurt themselves. Finally, I'm going to turn off the stereo that they get to listen to during the day for stimulation. And I'll just turn that off with the little switch. That's it. Okay, now that we have the birds moved to their night cage, we're actually gonna clean their day cage. So I'm gonna actually remove their water and their food bowls so that I can clean them in the kitchen. Okay, and then all of my supplies are down in this cupboard here. I have uh, different cleaners, the rags, the vacuum cleaner to, to vacuum up any seeds, and then more newspaper. On Thursdays when we clean and replace all the toys so they have different stimulation um, and a change in environment, the toys are located down here. So we'll get different perches out as well as several different toys. Alrighty, and then we're gonna clean this cage. So I'm actually going to prop the ladder up out of the way, maybe. And this screen, or this wire bottom, is actually gonna be pulled out so I can wipe it down. 
Next, I'm going to take out all of the bottom newspapers and be careful not to spill any excess of the seeds. Now I can throw that in the garbage here. And I will grab the vacuum to vacuum up any seeds. tuck this back in the cupboard here and then I will work on um, actually cleaning the bars and the bottom of the tray. So I have three different cleaners here and I'll grab three different rags, one for each of the liquids. So the first one I will use is our lemon vinegar cleaner and that helps get off any of the random dirtiness and I'll just spray it on the rag to wipe down the bars and then I'll spray it also on the bottom of the kennel. It doesn't need to sit but I will just wipe it all quickly so that it gets cleaned up here. Okay, next I'm going to grab a new rag and I will rinse that cleaner off with some water. You will do water in between each of your cleaners. So again, I will wipe down the bars. and also spray the bottom of the tray. Next, I will use the chlorhexidine so that I can disinfect. Again, I'll spray the rag to do the bars and I'll also spray the bottom of the tray. Finally, I will rinse it with water again so we don't have any lingering chemicals that could irritate the birds. Also, if you have any problems actually getting into the kennel, we do have the step stool here that you can use to actually get yourself closer to the cage. Next, I will clean the actual grate that was at the bottom of the kennel, and I will do the same process. I'll start with my lemon vinegar cleaner.
and I'll clean both sides of the wire grate. You might have to scrub a little bit to get the bird feces off of it, but we want to make sure it's nice and clean. I do it over the garbage can so the majority of it goes in the garbage and it's a little easier. Again, I'll use my water to rinse that off in between. Next, I'll do my disinfectant with the chlorhexidine. Also make sure to mind the actual dates that are listed on the chemicals. They might need to mix up a new batch. Finally, I'll rinse off all the chemicals with the last step of the water. Okay, while that dries, I'm going to lay some newspaper in the bottom of the tray so that it's ready for in the morning when they'll transfer the birds back over. So generally I will do two to three layers of newspaper so that it doesn't soak through onto the tray. I like to save the ads for the night cage because the tray is a little smaller. And you'll make sure the entire bottom of the tray is covered. Finally, I'll return the grate over the newspaper and slide it back in. And return the ladder back to the normal location. There we go. So then you can just close this door and it's ready for when you're going to transfer the birds back to their day cage. Okay, now that it's morning, we're going to move the birds into their big day cage. And so I'm going to get their food ready and we're here in the kitchen. So I'm going to open this cupboard and we'll have two bowls for each bird. So we'll have uh, two for food and then one or two for water. So I'm going to get the seed out first. So in the morning, they get two of the scoops because they'll be in their day cage longer than they normally will during the day or during the night. So I get those ready and they'll put two scoops in their other bowl. And then I am going to get their water ready and that's where we'll add some daytime vitamins We'll add one ounce or one drop of the daytime vitamins uh, per ounce of water per bird. Okay, now that I got the food ready, I'm going to go ahead and get the water ready. So I'm going to set my two bowls off to the side with the food. 
and then I'm going to add the daytime vitamins to their water. So right now we have a liquid. Uh, it also comes in a powder form. Um, so this liquid, we're going to apply one drop per bird per ounce of water. So I'm going to fill this for eight ounces of water in my measuring cup. And then I'm going to add eight drops of the liquid for each ounce of water that I have. All right. Now I can go ahead and take all of this to our daytime cage to move the birds. And then I'm going to take the water with me so I don't spill it on the way over there. I'm going to show you how to transfer the birds from their night cage into their day cage. So I'm going to go ahead and place their food and their water into their day cage. So I'll have one for food and one for water for each bird. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer the vitamin filled water and separate it between the two water bowls. And I can transfer them to each of the sides of the cage. And I'll put one food bowl and one water bowl on each side of the kennel. And just like the day cage and the night cage, I'll put them close to the perches so that they can easily um, access them. So now that I have their food and water in there, I can go ahead and transfer the birds into their day cage. So I'll uncover them. And in the morning, this is when we like to spray them with a little water and mist them so that they can kind of wash off anything that they don't want. Ready, Phil? Good girl, Marilyn. Ready for a little more, Phil? Good boy. All righty. So now I can go ahead and open their cage. I'm going to transfer them into their day cage. So again, I will use the two finger technique and ask them to step up. Good boy, Phil. And we'll do some Marilyn, same way. Step up. Step up. Good girl, Marilyn. Good girl. There you go. You can go ahead and close the cage there and make sure it's secure. They also like a little entertainment uh, while they're in their day cage, so I'll turn on the radio. So again, I'll just switch this switch to the on position and turn it up so they can hear it. I will also um, make sure when you're transferring them from cage to cage that we turn the ceiling fans off to avoid any casualties or injuries. I can go ahead and walk over and show you where that ceiling fan is. So it's right over here on the wall. And you'll turn it to the off position. And then when you're done transferring the birds, you can turn it back on to the low position so that all the hot air that tends to go up to the ceiling will stay down here so the birds don't get too cold. Next I'll clean their night cage and get it ready for when we transfer them back. So I'll go ahead and pull their food and water. And I'll take two, those to the kitchen to clean. I will also grab my chemicals out to clean. 
we'll have the lemon vinegar, the chlorhexidine, and then the water again that I used to spray the birds. And again, I'll grab three different rags out, one for each liquid that we're going to clean with. So next, I will wipe down each surface of here. You'll, can, you can wipe down the um, perch here if it's covered with some um, lemon vinegar first and then some water. So I will pull the tray out. And wrap up the newspaper here. And I will also pull the grate out. So you can clean both of them at the same time. And again, I just put them on top of the garbage can so that the majority of the dirty material will go directly in there. And it's just a little easier to work with. So I'll start with my lemon vinegar cleaner. And I'll wipe both sides of the grate. And then I'll wrap it. We'll do the tray as well. Next, I'll rinse with the water. And then finally, I'll disinfect with the chlorhexidine and rinse that off as well. Now that those are all clean and wiped off with the water, I will go ahead and wipe out the bottom of the cage and a little bit of the um, actual wires. I'm also going to take special care to wipe both sides of the plastic that goes behind the food dishes. And I'm going to actually fold my cover up and wipe around the cage and underneath it. While I'm in here, I'm going to clean this perch off. You can use um, some warm water and a sponge or just your water and some lemon vinegar and rinse it with water. It's not too dirty today, so I'll just wipe it with this water in rag. So I'll fold this night cover up. Try not to make a mess. And I'll just set that on top of the cage for tonight. And again, I'll wipe around the cage and get any extra seeds that may have fallen through the wires. Now that I've wiped everything down, I can go ahead and start putting the cage back together. So I can put my plastic pieces in for the food dishes.
I can put my perch back in. I'll slide my grate back in on the bottom. And again, just like the day cage, I'm going to line the tray with newspaper. And this is where you can feel free to use those ads that are a little smaller. I will generally do about two to three layers of newspaper so it doesn't soak through. And I'll slide that back in the bottom. And I can go ahead and close this cage. Now I just have to refill my supplies, put everything away, and clean up.